we have some chairs. A little bit that sunburned, it looks like. So that's some of the stuff that you can open the meeting. Two things that are, you know, like, they're not in, you know, they're kind of like in juxtaposition. So if we could really kind of go over that and look about the two of March, what that was about, because it was misunderstood by a couple of people this, this morning. So we're, we're trying to do a march on Saturday, too, or like a couple of other marches. I don't know how they fit in. So yeah, no. Well, that's what I mean. We didn't know about it here. We wanted to do something here at 1 o'clock. So that's, that's, that's what we're marching to here at 1 o'clock. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Can we talk about it? Yeah. Okay. So, everybody to introduce themselves. This is Norm. We'll go around. I'm Jack. <laughs> okay, we'll go this way. Hi, I'm Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Daniel. And I'm Jim. Jonathan. Craig. Alex. Alvi. Chives. So the normal thing is we have updates and then we have a small agenda. <coughs> this won't be a long one, but there's certain things we should work out. Um, so people for the agenda, like you should know that some of the things we're getting out, we're getting information in from all over the country. Friends of ours in Oregon, uh, Eugene, uh, Portland, people calling saying hello, what they're doing. Looks very good. Boston got attacked a couple of, you know, that was a tough one, but good for us in the sense that it's bad press for this country's crime government. It's a crime against the people when they do something like that. Absolute crime against the government. So anyway, here we go. Uh, what do we have for the agenda? Yes, you. We'll bring them up if you want. Um, yeah, I wrote a draft for a letter earlier today. Um, the idea of sending it to City Council, Board of Supervisors, EPD, Sheriffs, and the Mayor. Um, basically, um, well, I'll read the letter later, but okay. I'd like to make that a, so the letter, agenda item. Which you and you were going to go in about, so this is what we're working on. Okay. Well, you brought it up. That was the first thing you brought up at that meeting we had over there. I was going to the authorities. All right. I hope that's okay. I'm just bringing up where it started. If you hadn't said it, we probably wouldn't okay. have gotten it started. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, so. So the people that I've given some some brief. Uh, like uh, trainings, a little bit of training, a little bit of discussions about getting to the to the uh, uh, radio stations to get this going, to get the people here. Has anybody, have you been able to call in yet? Um, actually, Alex has got some news on the radio station front. Yeah, I've uh, been uh, speaking to a friend of mine who happens to be um, uh, one of the local radio personalities and uh, involved with the local radio station. And to get a more cohesive message in terms of what we're actually doing here. He seemed to be a little bit confused as to what we were actually doing here after talking to him. He realized that, you know, yeah, we should be getting a message out that's more uh, instructive to what we want people to be in the level of support that we're hoping to get out of people in terms of getting people involved in a conversation, in debate, in dialogue. Uh, expressing their viewpoints, um, not necessarily encamping here with us, um, not necessarily uh, even showing support, but we want to get people who are actually opposed to this to become involved in the debate. So hopefully, um, he actually said that if I wanted to put something together, he'd get a radio spot today. Uh, I told him that I wanted to wait until I actually brought this up to everybody and make sure that everybody was okay with the message instead of just writing something up myself and putting it out. Um, as well as not necessarily being the one who was doing the recording. Um, as uh, both me and him discussed possible individuals who would be involved in that. And uh, yeah, with... Who are you going to get opposed to? Huh? Who are you going to get opposed to? Anybody who is opposed to this. Yeah. We'd like to hear what they have to say. And we'd like to see if we can find some sort of common ground that we can work together on. Um, 
people who drive by and shout, get a job, or... Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Those are the people who would like to explain their position and, and give us a chance to explain our position to them and make sure that they understand what our position is to see if maybe they're uh, unaware of what the position actually is and maybe that they do agree with some of the same things that we agree with and maybe that we can work together towards accomplishing certain goals even if we disagree on other goals. Um, it's like conflict resolution. Yes. yes. It's going to have to be conflict resolution because, wow. Um, you he, he does believe that there's, he, well, he knows from talking to his boss, his direct boss, that there is desire on the part of one of the radio stations to give more comprehensive coverage, to do an actual show about this. Um, he wanted a, a single individual. My opinion is that we should have a panel of individuals that represent the disparate groups that not just the Occupy Eureka, but Occupy Arcata, um, as well as if there is... A, a reason to do it, the Occupy Humboldt, that there's enough of a separation between Occupy Humboldt as opposed to Occupy Humboldt merely being a clearinghouse for Occupy Eureka and Occupy Arcata, as well as is there any other local group or local encampment that's occurring at the moment that I'm aware of? There? I don't know of any. There are two in Arcata. There are a little bit at yeah. odds with each other. Uh, and then, and trying to figure uh, out how to what bring is those the plaza two back. and what is at HSU. Oh, so yeah. we have. Hmm. So. Trying to bring those two back into solidarity with all three of us is something I know Occupy Humboldt is interested in. I know that I'm personally interested in. I think that there needs to be some sort of conflict resolution between the three groups. Because I think that the three groups in particular, there's a lot of individuals in all the three groups. It's not just between the quad and HS, or the, the plaza and HSU, but both of those groups uh, as in, and us. I don't think that we necessarily express the idea in any way that we want to be separate from them. Not but at I all. think that both of those groups kind of are expressing the desire to be separate from us. Maybe we well can go around other. and get people's ideas about how they feel about uh, what you're saying. I, I haven't really talked sure. to many of the people there. You have. So. Yes, I have. Yeah, They've I, been very supportive. We're getting along really well. Our kid okay. is getting along with us. I don't see too many disparities as long as we treat it that way. I think we can move pretty far. So it's more just a conflict of resolution. But, but I, was, I, I didn't mean to take over. I bet to okay. hear other people um, what they have to say about so what you're saying. Me, me and that individual discussing it, uh, we both believe that at least one of the individuals who should be on that panel um, should actually be Daniel with his background in the military. Uh, if you are okay with that, would you be willing to, uh, to do some radio? Yeah. You know? um, and then... Okay. If um, we could have actually have an exchange of uh, people, like uh, a couple of people that's been out here, a couple of people from Al Qaeda switch to get back and forth, uh, provided transportation is available. That may be a good idea. That way we can have a, a kind of a change, and also we can see get each other to correspond together as one unity. Sounds good. good. Um, and then I'm also planning on utilizing personal contacts that I have with the uh, the owners of those uh, um, of those same radio stations, uh, so that hopefully there's not only pressure from the bottom but pressure from the top down to get more comprehensive coverage. Because from what I understand, all those six, 60 second spots would be run on multiple radio stations. The comprehensive coverage would only be done by one of those radio stations. Do I have a point of process? Are we still doing the agenda, or what are we doing here? Yeah, it, sorry. Yeah, thanks. That's good. Good. Yeah, we, we should get back to that. Uh, are there, there any other there items? There is one item. Agenda item. item. I've seen on TV, and that there is, there is a local TV broadcasting station. I guess OSHU, the college up there. KHSU. Yes. If, if we could actually get. Uh, somebody to to do a yeah. film. That we want to be on TV. TV. <laughs> get the message out more. Okay. okay. If somebody could uh, research that, that'd be great. Do a little research. I promise. Um, and then we have some good connections with them already, and we we need more. We could input. stage something if they knew who knew what time they were going to be here. Stage, you know. That's no, well, it's, it's not what time are they going to be here, it's what time do we have something to draw them yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. Here. Yeah. Okay. And we have some stuff coming up about March. I mean, another thing is things that are happening tomorrow from Pelican Bay and what's happening for GMO Foods. You know, the trades coming this way in their March. So there's a lot of things to talk about here about things coming up in the next three days.
So, we, yeah, well, that's what we're going to talk about. At about what? Yeah. And you should introduce yourself. So anybody else want to chip in about this idea of having a, a panel of people? You could maybe make a proposal, a quick proposal, and we would know what you um, really well, want. In some of the discussions that I was, I've been having with people, it, it is there is a, a confusion as to um, they, they've seen some of the coverage that has occurred, some of the messages that have been coming out, and they, they seem to not only feel that the message itself is confused. Right, no, this is not a proposal. This, you, oh. Can you put a proposal out? Just a quick proposal. We heard the background. I'm not trying to be... Well, just a, the, proposal. Uh, a proposal of what the message should be. Um, no. Or no, a proposal. proposal. I propose that we have a, 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 a panel of people that will get together or something like that. Yeah. Like you did. But this Action short statement. Action statement. That okay. people can say yeah. yay or nay to. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that, that basically would be it. Uh, okay. who, who would want to participate in uh, just choosing it the representative? Should we? Should, should we? Should we? I, I think that. Okay. Third. We have a third. Uh, well, we don't have to have a third. Now we can, now we can um, go around well, and we can talk. Well, that's to clarify the proposal, to determine the message and to determine the representatives from different groups. Okay. One thing I should say that's coming up, I should stop everything right now and say, this has been a more difficult day, and they're going to be more difficult, and there will be a lot of difficult times. I, I just, because these are, to hold a formal meeting on the sidewalk is not an easy thing. And, and when we're waving and we want to do all those things, that's not a, you know, an easy thing. I'm just saying that everybody to really go back in themselves and really realize that we are really at one, and I really do appreciate everyone here. And if that is not clear with you, I, I'll you know fight it out on the lawn. But I'm just saying that it's there. I really believe that. I, I, can, I can show my top, but I oh wow. <laughs> I I just feel that every time we have a misunderstanding, part of our nonviolent training is always. The minute something comes up, can we, or can you, if you want to be a Okay. Yeah, when we have things like that, then you can go aside for a minute and work it out. That's if you have to smoke, go aside. Those are the more formal things you do. If, you're, if you see something start to flower and a misunderstanding with somebody, and you're just feeling kind of like on edge anyway, just take a deep breath and remember, no matter what somebody has done, and it looks like it's perverse or it's against you or it's a misunderstanding, nobody here is going to be after you and trying to take things from you or do something against you. It's a misunderstanding. I'd just like to ask for a, a bit of clarification. What, what's pro being proposed is that we generate like a working group to generate a statement of what we're sort of after, a, a, a statement of goals. That's, that's what we're discussing now, am I? I, I, well, I think that the, it got pulled away from that. Oh, okay. That. So I, if we want to go back to the, the media coverage, is that all that? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. really I'm, no I'm use confused dripping. about what you're proposing and what we're actually yeah. doing right now. Yeah, that's. Are we just talking some more? Who, who who would like to be the liaison between uh, Occupy Eureka and Occupy Arcata to ensure that they have representatives in, in this uh, in the panel? Would would you be willing to do that? You you do a lot of the uh, the work online, or who yeah. has the most contacts? I have the number for the person who's running the the pound Occupy the Gulf website. Okay. So I can get in contact with them, and then other and then I know they come by here all the time. Yeah, so they were here yesterday. Talk to them. Yeah. I'm. You know, we're all we're all leaders technically. Oh, then, it was so. wonderful to have him yesterday. I can't. I meant to get his name by the way, but I didn't. I didn't. Brandon. Brandon. 
Um, can we set a, a time for actually having a, uh, where I interested individuals who want to either help craft the message or to determine the participants can get together to agree upon what the message and the, and the participants will be? I think that's a great idea. I would like to add an agenda item, uh, consensus, what it is how to okay. operate a consensus meeting. Um, second of all, uh, I would just like to say that I think the more the merrier. I think the more cross between here and here, the better. But I've been making it a point to do that. So, but I think the more it would be better. Yeah, this is, again, we're going to run into a lot of things where a lot of people want to be part of it. And it's not, it's not hierarchical and it's not, we choose, choosing is one way. What are you trying to adapt ourselves to a different way of doing things here? Yeah. And so, in line with what they're saying in New York, and they certainly speak for me. I mean, I'm <laughs> glad to go along with what they do. They speak a lot of consensus. So, I don't want to go too fast. If people really want to see what we have on the desk and what we've been doing, there will be no misunderstandings about what we want. We want a lot. But, want but in to, order yeah. to put the message out, to step forward instead of waiting yes. for them to come to us, and then most importantly, I think that uh, part of the message is that we do want them to come. To us. No, of um, course. I, yeah. I'm not arguing with that at all. Yeah. Uh -uh. I'm just saying, it's just like Amy Goodman, she was arrested and uh, she got in trouble in the, the Republican convention and all that and she was with some people with the Associated Press, the regular press, and this corroborates what you're saying. And uh, they said, well how did you learn all those things about what was going on? She said, I went down and was with them. <laughs> so anyway, so to, to get back to the actual uh, discussion of the proposal, um, can we agree upon a time in which, after contacting Arcata and, and contacting as many people who are here and who filter in and out, um, can we agree on a time that we can tell everybody this is when the meeting, specifically the action group towards the panel, is going to be? We haven't decided that there would be an action group yet. No, that's part of. I guess that's, that's true. Part of the logistics. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. I, I think there should be a general uh, meeting anyway between the three groups, and it's more whoever yeah. shows up because everyone's part of it. So it can be everyone, not just those who are running websites or running media or okay. have connections. It's everyone involved. That way we can get all three groups, but we do need to decide where and when. I'm, I'm going to suggest yeah. Friday because that's because I want to be there, but and it seems like a good time when people tend not to like take off. So Friday's the day in between everything else. Exactly. <laughs> Good job, you folks! Hey! Thank you. Join the occupancy. Get an occupation. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to make a sign to you. So many people. Can, can you please write right? we have jobs? <laughs> or like some yeah. of us. We were oh, trying to make it today. Yeah. We didn't get right. <laughs> okay, we're trying. Let's stay on track. Um, so we'll wait. Okay, I guess, I guess we, we should. Let, let, let's put this for a proposal. Are we agreed that we want to put out a message? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. We're putting yeah, it out every yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. We're saying we are. Yeah. We are. So then, I am. are we agreed that we want Brandon to try to get is. together as many people as possible to ensure that there's consensus on that message and consensus on the consensus? Yes. Okay. So do we have consensus on the What? No blocks. No blocks on that. Okay. So Friday, what time? Uh, so I can send. A well, maybe we should. Open hand, can send hand again. Let's okay. start from here. Oh, okay. Let's start from how we think it should be, but that doesn't mean how it's going to turn out. Yeah. We're just going to offer it to them. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But we need to offer them a moment to appear. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we should get in touch with them right away. And tell so them what, uh, what, 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 what time would be the first. best time? Does anyone want to suggest mm -hmm. a time? Anyone have a better time than other? You know, does anyone have any? Maybe we should just ask them what's the best time. Oh, the they, their meetings think are at 11 and 7 up there. Ours are at 10 and 6. I think we should do it in between that at yeah. some point. Okay. Enough time for them to take the bus down here, too. Um, 11 and 7, can, can we say 3 o'clock as, as, a, as a, an offer? Hi. Hey, man. Not too bad. You want to join in? Oh, come on. You know me. Yeah, I do know you. Yeah, okay. Hold on job. Yeah, 
will, we're just not going to get it. Right, no, I agree, I agree. It's, it's, it's not going to happen right now. Yeah, it so. has to be <laughs> almost like a come by. You have to have a ready. Yes, it's not a good, no, it's a good chance to do that. Do you want to see if we, we can change our mind? Yeah. Why would I want to do that? Maybe I have something to Like what? An outside opinion. So, sort of the initiative before us now is, is we're going to invite the folks in the, the groups in Arcata to a get together on Friday, uh, if somewhere around three o'clock, if that's convenient for everyone. Or and I would like to go further because we're the furthest away. I don't see why they should come here. I think we should go there and be somewhere in Arcata. Then, then. That's the point. And I think we should. Yeah. I'd be willing to go that far. Uh, right. 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 Right.
your attention that in solidarity with the Occupy Wall Street movement, an Occupy Eureka demonstration has begun. This demonstration, which has received wide ranging support from our community, as it is nationally, is continuing to grow. Up until this point, and we are thankful for this, this demonstration has, from our perspective, received the silent approval of the various local institutions to which it may concern. <laughs> We, the demonstrators in Eureka, have been giving our best efforts to ensure that this demonstration remains as courteous and respectful as it is possible to the community in which it exists and is attempting to engage. That being said, we, the demonstrators of Occupy Eureka, desire to more fully seek dialogue with the various community institutions to which this demonstration may concern. As part of this desire, for a more formal dialogue, we ask that you compile any concerns that you may have for this demonstration and inform us, however you see fit, of those possible concerns. Rather than jumping on us at night before we <laughs> yeah. okay. We truly wish for this demonstration to continue uninterrupted in a respectful and productive fashion. We realize that as represent representatives who serve this community, your input is necessary for the continuation of Occupy Eureka. We wish to fully address any concerns that you may have with this demonstration and ask that you create a more formal dialogue with us so that we may reasonably understand so that we may reasonably understand your position. Thank you for your time and energy, as well as your apparent discretion. We hope to be hearing from you soon. And as I did the demonstrators of Occupy Eureka. Great. If I might offer just a, a one suggestion for alteration, when you talk about uh, if there's any concerns that, that we'd like them to address them to us, uh, possibly we could, could put something in there about when our council or assembly meetings are, yeah, oh yeah, and that well, that would be, that, that if they have a problem uh, addressing them at one of our assembly meetings would be a, a, an effective and beneficial way to, to manage right down that. the line of how to deal with it, oh, right? Um, the other thing, I would suggest very strongly is to put our email address in that letter, because some people may not have the time to stop by, okay. but they can email us with their concerns. Did we set up the email account yet, specifically for this, or is it just going... Well, there is... uh, no, there's no okay. specific it's thing. I've, I've had mine going out for a long time. We can do it right I now. Wait, so I think... Do you want me to make a Gmail account, or can you make a Gmail account called Occupier Eureka at Gmail? I think there is that. We have... I think Brendan yeah, was saying... Yeah, Brendan okay. was saying... Why can't you just have it attached to the website? Yeah. Like, you know, contact? Oh. It's a little button that says contact. We don't actually have a website. We only have a Facebook page. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We're doing uh, the best we actually, can. Brand is working on it. Oh. Can I uh, add two things um, to that, actually? Uh, we do have a website, or a Facebook page, but we don't have a web, uh, Facebook group. Yes, we do. We do? Yeah. Wait, oh, we have uh, the Occupy Humble California group. Occupy Eureka, California group. Okay. I'll, yeah. I'll just send you an invite or send you one if I can. Okay. Um, and, and, a, and a second thing, uh, um, a second thing is, uh, you brought up the, the, the email thing. Um, it, has there been follow-up on anything that there is on the to-do list that isn't being actually accomplished? Um, are we keeping track of things that we have on the to-do list and who is actually participating? When you be, what do you by what do you mean by to uh, letter yeah. Thanks. For so for now, right. I guess put Jack's email on that. So if you want to send that out quickly as possible, and then later on uh, when they start emailing you, okay, bro. we can merge your account. Of with course, the but I think we should put it in writing. Walk it in. Oh yeah. I mean, not 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 to be something in person. Really. Oh, yeah. Um, and on that note, the proposal was to Sorry. give it to the City Council, the Mayor, and the Board of Supervisors for Humboldt County, uh, as well as the EPD and the Sheriffs. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there's any other suggestions about the 172 or all of those apply. It's pretty good. Um, Sounds, does it, that sound pretty good? Yes. I, I would only uh, add maybe the uh, AG. AG? Uh, Attorney General's Office. Oh, okay. Yep. Doesn't that go right to the heart of what you're saying by just telling everybody and ex making it like so that's so understood by so many people that that uh, they've just got to respond in a more positive way? Yeah. Doesn't that sound pretty good? Yeah. Huh. 
So if somebody's here, they'd like to introduce themselves. I'm Verbena. Hello. I wanted to make sure that um, that I communicated about tomorrow at 3 o'clock from 3 to 7. We're going to do an emergency rally in support of the California prisoner uh, hunger strike. Yeah. Um, it has, it'll be uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Um, it'll be the, the 18th day of the second round of hunger strike against torture, against long-term solitary confinement and isolation in Pelican Bay and other um, California prisons. And the um, prisoners are uh, weak die unless the people on the outside put enough pressure on the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation to meet the five demands of the So that's going to be here tomorrow. We're going to have lots of orange. And that notice has gone out to everybody that's signed up. Um, the gentleman here which I've come interested in, like the letter that he wrote and stuff, I was telling him more about it. But I, I can see here with okay. that Wall Street and stuff. I'm all like, yeah, just got a couple minutes. Just thought I'd say thanks so much for doing what you're doing. You know, <laughs> you're welcome. Great thing. Uh, thank yeah. you for the support. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to stay in touch? Because you can sure just write your email down on the back of this phone. Okay. Uh, and we're also on Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Also yeah. By sure. Okay. So we're just going over the. Uh, so I have heard the letter. I have a right. In an incompletion, it has gone as far as I'm concerned. It sounds good, and I think we have everything in there that we need. Sound all right to everybody about the letter? With uh, yeah, I, 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 uh, right. We're, we're adding your suggestion in there. Uh, yep. So I think that that worked out. Uh, so your suggestion was that they meet us. Um, or you offer that we suggest. No, that 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 yeah. If if they if they have any concerns, the easiest way for them to address those would be to attend our assembly meeting and give them our ten and six o'clock times. Is this the government? Um. Yeah. This is okay. I have a different idea. Okay. And it's for. I'm just gonna put it out there. And it's for legal reasons and also because you don't know who's gonna. And maybe they say, well, I couldn't make it to the GA, so I came at whatever time. And what I saw that I thought was impressive that the Occupy Humble did was they said, if you want to, if you aren't, but it was like, if you're not cool with us being here, essentially, then you need to put it in writing and bring it to our General Assembly. And one of the reasons that I would assume that they said put it in writing is because they need to be accountable to everybody. So you make this letter public and then you make their response public. And that way, because talking with the government is like... That's precisely what we're doing. You can't do nothing with it. Precisely. But if he's writing it and you just ask them to come and talk to you... Oh no, we're going to spread it out, let people know. Right, I'm saying you have to be explicit that nobody's going to talk to them about the situation unless they bring it in writing. That's the difference. I think that's a very valuable suggestion. We have had video at just about every GA meeting, correct? Uh, I got uh, the first two and then tonight's. Uh, I didn't make either of the councils yesterday, so I don't know if anyone recorded them or not. Okay. I know that the one that I was attending was not recorded. Um, yesterday's at 6, there was no recording devices that I saw. I think that's kind of an important thing, just in case anything does happen. Oh, uh, that's actually another thing that I saw last night that um, I, I want to bring up. Um, there was an incident last night of somebody coming here with a weapon. Oh. Um, so somebody from the uh, lumberjack community here came here with a large stick. Um, at the time that he showed up, there was recording occurring and it was streaming. Oh. And the individuals who were here recording and streaming 
shut off the cameras as the person approached. Oh. And so I think that we need to inform everybody and make sure that everyone understands that if something like that happens, it is not the time to turn off the cameras. <laughs> That's a time order camera. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Um, when I when I discovered that that they had been streaming up until that point in time, and that individual walked up, did drop the stick, and, I, and according to the person who stopped recording, the reason that they stopped recording was because it seemed like that person was being friendly. And yet, in that situation, I feel that you know, well, okay, what happens if there's an altercation that happens? He has the excuse of, oh, they attacked me, and then I picked up the stick from the ground. It doesn't matter that he walked up with a stick, that he brought it, that he began the altercation.